lovely people welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hi my name is Sapta Deepa welcome and for today's video I plan to do an updated Q&A because the last time I saw the Q&A it was like over a year ago and uh, I thought that you guys might want to know more about me because I whatever whenever I'm blabbering in my videos I'm only talking about makeup and the steps and stuff like that but not about me so I thought you guys might like to know more about me so I asked on Instagram to I asked you guys on Instagram to send me some questions but I got just like six eight questions to answer from there so I decided to question myself like, prepare questions for myself to answer that I want to let out there because there are some things that I don't want to let out but there are some things that I want to let out there just because just so you guys know me better so I so appreciate of me I know I just prepared some questions that I would answer in this video but firstly let's just say that this video is going to be divided into parts like first one is going to be the questions that you guys asked me and the ones that I prepared the second part is going to be something that I'll have to choose in between like two things and uh, like make me choose or trend on Instagram something like that and the third one is going to be some information or some things about me or some facts about me so yeah the video is going to be in three parts and before we get into uh, the video guys I just want uh, to put out something there or uh, just a quick disclaimer that we are under a crisis like a health crisis whatever you like to call it like we are under a crisis and I just want you guys to know that uh, I am being indoors as much as possible because the place where I stay in, that Silja, the medical facilities here are not up to the mark and if the virus that I'm talking about, COVID-19, if it decides to tour here also, we guys are going to be devastated because the medical conditions here are not that great let's just say that and all over the world it's spreading like anything and i just want you guys to know that you guys need to be safe please take care of yourself please wash your hands i also have a hand sanitizer with alcohol in it some percentage i think 60 if i'm not wrong and i'm washing my hands continuously i'm being indoors as much as possible because i have asthma and uh, it's going to get really bad if somehow it decides to land here and I get it. It's going to be really bad. So please, please take care of yourself. Don't take your safety for granted and don't take people's safety for granted as well. Because if you, you know, take care of yourself and keep yourself indoors and don't participate in groups and stuff like that, then you are saving yourself plus others because it's something that spreads obviously I'm pretty sure that everybody knows what COVID-19 is because it's a catastrophe so please 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 be safe watch videos watch my video and uh, yeah please be safe and my prayers to each and everyone that is affected by this I mean I am pretty scared I'm freaking out a little bit but it's going to be over there's no need to panic I know I'm freaking out but there's no need to panic it's going to get over just we need to take precautions and we need to be as safe as possible so without any further ado let's just answer some questions right now so I've written on the questions and everything in a copy because I'm filming on my phone so that's like impossible so I'm going to be beginning by answering the questions that you guys left on the Instagram um, thingy sticker or stuff like that I don't know what, what it's called but yeah the first one is far away uh, with four zeros hi girl we text a lot on and off and I don't know who you are but I'm so appreciative of you and I love you like, we talk a lot <laughs> so it's really nice so her first question I think she asked me like three if I'm not wrong no she asked me two so the first question was your favorite full coverage foundation and fav favorite eye palette so my favorite full coverage foundation would definitely be the milani one because i used it and i love it and the shade range is also good so the milani one for sure and eye palette um i don't have those but i really really like to try the morphe 
uh, X Jeffree Star palette that looks that looked stunning the green and pink and everything and other than that I'd like to obviously try the James Charles X Morphe palette because that's amazing but with what I have the, <laughs> the palette that I always use the Makeup Revolution X of one that's my favorite if you're asking about what I have used but other than that those two palettes I really like to try and other than that she asked a really nice question and it was what's the first thing you instantly notice about people um it would be the way they talk if i'm like reading them i really am a body language kind of a person i really like to notice stuff about people and i really understand how people are just talk just by talking to them or saying how they're reacting and stuff so the first thing that i definitely notice is going to be the way they talk if they're talking like really loud and grumpy or they're talking soft and stuff like that so obviously it will be the way they talk and it will be really stupid or idiot or of or really fake of me if i said that i don't go for looks i definitely do but the first thing that i always always notice even if that person is like stunning is the way they talk so yeah I hope you like my answers and uh, keep texting me off on and off. It's nice. Now the next one, uh, the next person. I also talked to her on and off, and we also met through Instagram. And I don't know her in person. She just happened to text me once there regarding some products and stuff like that. So it's really cute. Um, yeah. So it's uh, by Banik Sudakshina. Hi girl, how are you? So the first or the only thing that she asked me was from the past few weeks it seems you recently had a breakup. Are you okay? Um it has it's not recent anymore, it has been six months plus, but I'm fine. I'm doing so good. Like I've never been this good or I've never been this fine or I've never been this productive my whole entire life. Like trust me, the Sapadipa that I am right now. It's nothing like the Sapturipa that I used to be like two years ago. I was an unproductive mess. I used to be on bed the entire day. And I do not appreciate that anymore. I have been working, 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 working and working since like since December if I'm not. Yeah, exactly since December. So it happened long back in September and it just crushed me somehow. But I when I got back on December I have never felt better. I've never, never felt better. I'm independent. I'm just, I'm just doing everything. I'm like making the most out of my life currently, and I'm just fine. I'm more than fine. Thank you for asking. Uh, the next question is Nasifa underscore Y underscore Lasker. I really, um, hi girl. I don't know you, but um, thanks for leaving the question. That means so much. So from where did you get your specs? My specs, yeah. People love my specs so well. Uh, I'm a blind as hell person. But yeah, I got my specs from New Paul Opticals. It's in Central Road City. The next one is G4SHX. And uh, he asks, what's up? Uh, I'm currently filming a Q&A video for you guys. And that's what's up. The next one, um, underscore the desired one, underscore. I also know her through Instagram. We talk on and off a lot. So, yeah. So, her first, I think she asked me like three questions. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. The first question is Did you ever drunk, uh, drunk called or texted anyone? I did. And I'm so proud of it because it was really necessary because that person was bugging me. Uh, the next question is, what do you like about the Kardashians? That they're rich. That's it. I like the money. <laughs> so now next, how do you cope up with the mental sufferings? I mean, I honestly don't know. People ask me about it all the time. Even I don't know, but uh, something that I'd like to tell you guys or something that I have learned and uh, it has helped me so much that the fact that everything passes, like each and everything passes, it it doesn't stay the way it is. If you're having a good time, it's not gonna last. If you're having a bad time, it's not gonna last. And if you're about to go somewhere 
and you have things to um, you know face and stuff then it's gonna get over to and you come out of that situation with experience like at that moment you'll feel like oh my god I'm dead oh my god oh my god I can't but no you will and you can and the time when you get out of it like a survivor like fighter I like 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 a queen you just just automatically drawn to those things again because I'll tell you a story if I may that uh, I just recently appeared for my GDP ride for Symbiosis Pune and I was freaking out like even though I really like to talk and I talk a lot but I was freaking out I was just freaking out and I was like oh my god I'm going to be dead I will faint I <laughs> I'll have a panic and I was stuff like that and I was like I was panicking yeah a lot of <laughs> I go through a lot of things but at the end of the day I just realized that it all passes and the thing that I'll be stressing about ends eventually so yeah and other than that GAD that I have I've been diagnosed with GAD um I'm I take medication so that's how I cope up with it other than that I am a strong woman like I'm really strong <laughs> so I don't let I it affects me obviously but I don't let it affect my day-to-day -day life even though it does sometimes but I don't let it and I just completely tell myself that you gotta be okay like you're being so much it's okay you're gonna be fine you don't have to stress about it anymore and like that and the thing is that everything passes that thought helps me like a lot okay next one uh, the next one is Anton underscore AJ underscore 3 d underscore. He says, Nice to meet you. Um, I haven't met you yet, but I'd like to something maybe. Uh, I've not never even talked to you, but it's okay. Yeah, hi. So, next one is my friend actually, and we used to go and take tuitions uh, for my honors. And uh, it's a Dave underscore Roy underscore Ankita. Hi Ankita, how are you doing? And I love you. So she asked that what do you eat in a day? Share your beauty secret. Honestly, beauty secret, I don't know. I have already shared my skincare routine, so you can check it out there. And other than that, beauty secret, um, actually, recently I'm just super happy, even if I go, I go through a lot of. I am not allowed to say that but I I go through a lot of crap I can say crap a lot of crap at night but other than that I stay really happy these days and I'm really really recovering from everything and uh, I'm happy these days that's why maybe I'm going people ask me why you're going and I'm just like I'm happy like currently I'm not wearing highlighter or stuff like that I think I'm just happy and sleeping and eating oh eating yeah I like to eat everything as you guys can see or notice that i don't gain any, gain any weight my metabolism is like crazy but i don't gain any weight even though i eat like i eat a lot i won't uh, compare it with anybody but i eat a lot and i like to eat kharka khana more these days i don't know why maybe because i don't go out to eat a lot these days i just go out when i have work and uh, maybe that's why so yeah, so these were the questions I guess. Oh no, there's another question. So yeah, the answer is that I eat khata khana mostly and uh, I for workout, I, I do squats and that's it. Uh, the last question is actually my favorite out of the lot and it's from Nana underscore Nayan underscore and I don't know you <laughs> and we haven't talked but your question is amazing girl, it's amazing. So she asked me, how do you feel when people compare you with Sonam Kapoor? That's such a nice question, thoughtful question and uh, how I feel like she's gorgeous. She is gorgeous and she's so good looking and I feel really really happy but I've been getting the same compliments since I was um, since I was 13, 13, 12, 13. And now I'm 22, so it has been like a decade since I've been uh, <laughs> getting this compliment. It's in, and it gets really repetitive. Uh, but I enjoy it, of course, because she's beautiful, and I enjoy it. But it definitely is getting repetitive. And each and every day, somebody tells me this 
that you look like Sonam Kapoor. I thought you were Sonam Kapoor. This, this, I each and every day, and I'm not even kidding. Like, I can, I could show you right now that each and every day I get uh, this remark. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, enjoy, it, but it's repetitive. So these are the questions that I got from Instagram. Now let's just get into the questions that I prepared for myself. So these questions are going to be really quick and I'm not going to be explaining a lot but the first question goes favorite movie so if you ask my favorite Bollywood movie uh, recently I really really like Badhai Ho and uh, Kesari because I'm an old school and I love war movies and stuff like that uh, but my favorite 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 movie of all time and everything would be Earth it uh, says uh, Shabana Aswe Nasiruddin Shah I really really enjoy that movie and it has such a deep meaning to it and other than that I really like Masoom that's again Nasiruddin Shah and uh, again I so that's not and in uh, in Hollywood I really really I my favorite favorite movie of all time would be The Book Thief and Julia and Julia and uh, yeah favorite genre of movie favorite genre would be war thriller and horror favorite singer artist currently a uh, female artist would be Kim Petras I absolutely adore her and uh, she's a transgender so I that's, but I'm gonna consider as female only obviously and male currently I'm really into Harvey he is uh, he's not mainstream yet but he's really good in music and other than that my all time favorite would be just the UM Stan and <laughs> In India or here would be Sonu Nigam. I'm obsessed. And, yeah. and next is celebrity crush. Uh, oh my god, I have lots of celebrity crush. But let's start with Vicky Kaushal. Obviously, I'm obsessed. And other than that, Chris Evans and uh, a lot actually, a lot. Lord Ryan Gosling. Oh my god, I love that dude. And. Uh, who else? I have lots of celebrity crush actually. I'm a fan girl. Justin Bieber, obviously, I'm a stan. And yeah, if I remember about somebody else in the future, I'd like to know. There's a lot actually. Um, also, Evan Jogia. Oh my god. Love that. Okay. Now, favorite items to dress. Uh, I really like tank tops. I am obsessed with tank tops. So anything that requires a tank top, I wear it. So my favorite will be tank top, bodycon dresses, or the way I'll stand it is a tank top. I'll wear some leggings and I'll wear a shirt or an outer layer, something like that, over it. And that's it. So my favorite items would be a tank top because you can style it anyway, and a bodycon anything. Uh, next, favorite makeup item: blush, blush and blush <laughs> and mascara obviously these two lipstick but other than that like just to be a little unusual I'll say blush uh, favorite jewelry I really I'm really into accessories these days and buying things like crazy but uh, favorite jewelry or ornaments or something like that would be earrings I love earrings and uh, rings I like wings as well, even though I'm not wearing any. Then the favorite social media app. My favorite social media app is going to be Facebook because I'm a meme girl. You get the pun, a meme girl? No, I'm a meme girl. Yeah. So these are the questions, good questions, I guess. No, this, more. this video is going to be so freaking long, but yeah, if you want to know, you're going to watch it. <laughs> 